Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Sandy. Today I'm going to be organizing my laundry closet, but before we go in there, full disclosure, the finished product is not going to be Pinterest perfect. It's not going to be perfect in any shape or form, but it is going to be practical. So if you're looking for a way to organize your laundry room, if you have a very small space as I do and a lot of products as you'll see um, like I do, then just keep watching. So we want to start here with a blank slate. One of the problems that I'm trying to solve for is that I do have a lot of cleaning products and laundry products. And so I found this space keeper organizer here that you can see between the washer and dryer. It is amazing. I first saw it over on my cousin's channel, Lady Cha Cha. And um, I said, I think that might work between my washer and dryer. And sure enough, all you need are five inches and you are able to um, use that to kind of stash some of your cleaning products, laundry products, what have you. If you have a small laundry space, I would love to hear from you how you are able to keep yourself organized or keep your products um, contained. Um, it's a struggle for me besides the obvious of having less products, which is really not an option for me. I like having an extra stash of items on hand. I am a prepper, so I just need to make it work the best of the way that I can. But I am always open to hearing new ideas of uh, other things that I can try. I'm trying to maximize the space that I have, and I know that having these loose products up here on this shelf is not helping my cause, so I am going to try to solve for that a little bit in this video, so stay tuned to see how it all turns out. Okay, so these are all the products that will eventually have to go back into that very small laundry space. So let's go ahead with the process of seeing how we're going to get them to fit in there and to have a semi-organized look because that's important that I be able to see everything, know where everything is. That's very important. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by um, filling up this cart here. And I decided to use it primarily for cleaning products, which I have a lot of cleaning products. I like to clean and I like to use different types of cleaning things. So that's what I'm doing here is just kind of organizing them and putting them um, where that I, where I know I can find them. When I tell you I am loving this little uh, organizer, it is really, really nice and perfect for my space. This next item is an extra large Lazy Susan that I got from the container store several years ago. I've been using it and I love it. It makes it so handy to have this on top of my dryer and I put my um, laundry detergents and cleansers and things like that on it and I'm able to spin it around and see what I have. It's perfect. Next, I have these cleaning caddies that I've actually had for a while, just never taken the tags off of them. But these are nice too for cleaning products and you just grab them and go when you're about to clean the space. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bit of a product junkie, <laughs> but I bought this cleanser that I'm using to clean the laundry, um, the, the machines off with from Trader Joe's and it is cedar wood and something, sage and cedar wood. And I hate it. I do not like it. So I'm trying to use it up so that I can, you know, move on to something else. I do not like the smell of it at all. It cleans very nicely, but the smell of it, and I'm all about the aroma. Mm. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and run the tub clean cycle on the washer just so that it can get a nice, fresh, clean start here. But this is what I ended up with. I have some storage boxes up ahead to take care of those products that I had loose in there. And everything is basically in a container or in an organ organizer or whatever, which makes it a lot more visually appealing. I have a lot of products, so it's not going to look perfect. I know that I can put shelving in here and I can do, um, you know, the, the wood across the top of the appliances, but that's not practical for me right now. It's coming though. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe button, share button, and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you over here on my next video. Bye-bye.